What up, Hoop fans? This is Stuart Scott setting the table for you. The Big South Beach is going to show us why a lot of people consider him one of the best post defenders in the game. Playing defense on the inside takes some real heart and soul. You have to use every muscle you've got to overpower your man. He's all about stopping the score and shutting him down. That's just how he rolls. Mavericks, Heat. Holla! Welcome to today's exhibition matchup here at the American Airlines Arena in Miami. The visiting Dallas Mavericks will face off against the Heat here on ESPN. Good evening, everybody. I'm Bob Fitzgerald here with Bill Walton. Michelle Tafoya will join us later. The players are getting loosened up for the start of the game. Bill, who needs to come up big for their team to win? Fitz, you have to be pretty good just to get on the floor in this league, but these guys are really something special. Shaquille O'Neal is an immense talent, clearly one of the very top players in the NBA. The guy's built like a tank, and his imposing physique allows him to outmuscle and intimidate everyone. Standing just across the court is another difference maker. Jason Terry is one of the better point guards in the entire league. What a terrific ball handler. Either hand, the guy cannot be stopped. So many moves, he just blows by anybody who tries to get in his way. Thank you, Bill. We're just about ready for the tip to get this one started. The Mavericks take the tip off and they'll set up the offense. Let's send it down to our sideline reporter, Michelle Tafoya. Michelle, what do you got? Thanks, Fitz. I spoke with the Heat head coach back by the locker room and his main focus, hitting the offensive boards. He said that, quote, in a game like this, it comes down to second chance points and that's where we can do some damage. Keep your eyes open down low. It should be a real dogfight. Back to you guys. Thanks, Michelle. They bring it up court. About four and a half minutes left here in the first. Skips it to Jones. Passes to the baseline. Butler. Dampier reels in the defensive rebound. The defense did a very good job of staying right up on him, and his middling mid-range game just wasn't up to the task. The pass to Nowitzki. Tries the spin move. Seven on the shot clock. Unloads. It's good. NBA action can be so quick, it's a good thing we've got the replay ready for you. The Heat bring it up court. We have a four-point game. Swings it to Jones. To Wade. To the rim. Yanked down by Dan Pierce. Dwayne Wade has got to be upset that one didn't fall. Anytime you get right to the rim like that, it's tough to miss. Pass to Finley. Launches beyond the arc. Count it. They bring it up court. Coming up on the three minute mark here in the first. Passes to Butler. Feeds it inside to end the run. Flips it in for two. The lead of the game is finishing off the play. Fitz, that wasn't an easy layup by any stretch of the imagination. And he had to earn what he got that time. Nice job of going to the rack and laying it in there. The pass to Finley. Tries to back him in. To Terry. Swings it to Stackhouse. Beyond the arc, hits the left rim and out. The defense didn't give him a lot of room there. He's not really a great three-point shooter, so he needs all the space he can get. The skip pass to O'Neal. The tough shot. It Way falls to fight short. The board, D. Dumps it to the middle. 
Finley cans the shot. Sometimes you just have to force things to create your own offense. He did a nice job of going inside to make something out of nothing. Pass to Butler. Pass, far side. The dish to O'Neal. Shoots. O'Neal grabs the inside rebound. Drops in the pretty layup. You can't let that one go by without taking another look. When the opportunity presents itself, you have to take advantage. Inbound pass to Terry. Passes to Stackhouse. Passes to the baseline. Jones ripped it down inside. It's one on one. Throws the shot out of this area code. The Heat will get the ball back after it sails out of bounds. The pass to Wade. Dumps it down low. Sails in. It falls. When you get in close like that, you have to be able to seal the deal no matter how much traffic you're in fits. That was a nice play. They bring it up court. A minute 27 seconds left in the first. To Stackhouse. Bounces it to Nowitzki. From 11 feet away. Get nice board by the 13-year veteran out of LSU. That's not the kind of shot you want to look for. Yeah. That is there had to be something better than that. Jones gets his sixth point of the game. Pass to Stackhouse. Dishes inside. Nowitzki. Lays it right in. He drove that one right into the teeth of the defense, Fitz. I don't care how that one looked. That was not an easy layup. The Heat advance it and they trail 11 to 8. Passes to Butler. Let's go, Heat! To O'Neal. Backs him down. Shoots from the post. Gets nothing but net. With his excellent post moves, he makes scoring in close look so easy. They bring it up court. 33 seconds left in the first quarter. The quick shot was hit by Nowitzki. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. The pass to Butler. Passes to the right corner. Seven on the shot clock. Beyond the arc. The defensive rebound by Dampier. Pass to Terry. We're at the end of one and it's close. The score, 13 to 10. Butler throws it in to start the second. The pass to Butler. Passes to Jones. Pass to Haslam. Five on the shot clock. Shoots with the clock winding down. Puts too much on it. Shaquille nice O'Neal is a potent scorer inside, but you've got to hand it to the defense. They put the pressure on him, and the shot was off the mark. On the money. Definite breakdown on the defense, Fitz. They gave him all day to just set up and stroke the shot. They bring it up court. Coming up on the four-minute mark here in the second. To Jones. The pass to Jones, tries to back down. Nowitzki snaps the rebound. The bounce pass to Stackhouse. 
Shoots it up. Haslam reels it in. Jerry Stackhouse has a mediocre mid-range shot, but the defensive pressure was definitely above average. Wasn't finished by Butler. Skips it to Finley. Swings it to Nowitzki. The pull up Jay. O'Neal rises up and secures the ball from way above the rim. Passes to Haslam. Drops. Down low next round. Inbound pass. The Mavericks advance it and they're up 15 to 12. Dishes it down low. Fires from the right block. Maybe next time. Dirk Nowitzki couldn't make the most of that opportunity. Those are the breaks. Sometimes you do everything right and they still don't go. Some guys can dunk, and then some guys just throw in a little something extra on it. Nice jam. Passes to the baseline. Jones with the interception. The fast break. Swatted away by Terry. It's one on one. Gets the land. Sometimes you just have to force things to create your own offense. He did a nice job of going inside to make something out of nothing. They bring it up court. 227 left in the second. Bounces it to Jones. Pass to Butler. Changes the shot. Ripped down inside by Dampier. They're running. Return the sender. Good. The bounce pass to Jones. To Butler. The pass to Wade. Five on the shot clock. Dishes it to Jones. Eight feet out. Finley hauls it down inside. Oh, me, oh, my. Nice that position. shot looked like a sure thing, but he it. just couldn't get it to fall. Swings it to Finley. I got him, I got him. Passes to Finley. Gives the up fake. Connects. The fans at home need to see this one again. You can really appreciate the finer details of the game when you get to see exactly how he got the score. The Heat bring it up court. They're shooting 38% from the floor. Pass to Jones. Skip pass to Haslam. Rejection by Nowitzki. The Heat will get this one back. Dampier will come off the floor. Person inbound to Jones. Five on the shot clock. From the corner, the bank shot won't fall. If he could just be a little more consistent with that mid-range game, he could be so valuable for them. Gets the land. The Heat advance it, and they'll try to end the run. To Person. The skip pass to Jones. Seven on the shot clock. Pump fakes. Jones misses the jumper. Four second differential between the shot and game clock. Jones gets the reach in call, and that's his first foul of the game. Haslam will leave the floor. The pass to Terry. Passes to Nowitzki. Throws it up. Sinks it. Nice that was an excellent play. Watch the job he does here, Fitz. Nice bucket. Person. 
Begins the up fake. Person. Yanked down from well above the rim by Nowitzki. And that concludes the first half. The score, 25 to 14. Now that we've got a little break in the action, why don't we take a look at the first half with our ESPN game track. Bill, take it away. Dirk Nowitzki has been absolutely automatic from three-point range in the first half. He's got to be feeling very confident right now. And they do well to keep the ball in his hands as the game continues. Eddie Jones has been giving his all on the other side of the ball, but they're still trailing by more than a little. He and his teammates are definitely going to have to kick it into a higher gear in the second half if they're going to come back and win this thing. Thanks, Bill. Both teams have taken the floor. It's time for the second half. Throws it in to start the third. Michelle Tafoya has some extra info for us. Michelle? Thanks, Fitz. Well, during the half, I spoke with the head coach of the Mavericks. He said that he's really happy with the way they've been playing so far. They've been shooting the ball very well, and he attributes that to their good shot selection. We'll see if they can continue their hot streak here in the second half. Bob, let's send it back to you. Thanks, Michelle. The tough shot. Stackhouse cleans the defensive boards. Shaquille O'Neal could have definitely found himself an easier shot than that one. That's one of those where you're stunned if it goes in. The bounce pass to Stackhouse. Pump fakes from the wing. O'Neal snags his fifth rebound of the game. To Butler. From 18 feet away. Hits right rim and doesn't fall. Gets some air. Hammered, and he'll go to the line. He gets it to fall. He gets them both. Bringing up court right around the four minute mark here in the third. The pass to Butler. Skips it to Wade. Is looking to do something with it. Floats it up. There's the six rebound by Nowitzki. Has read the scouting report and knows what he needs to do. Play him close and don't give him any open jumpers. The feed to Nowitzki. Picked off by Wade. Feeds it to Butler. Dunks it. Terry advances it, and he can pick up assist number five this trip down the floor. The handoff to Nowitzki. Unloads. Count it. He really came through on this play. You can see how he got into perfect position to score the second time around on the replay. The Heat working up court, and they're down by 13. Swings it to Jones. It up. Passes to the right block. All right. All right. All right. Takes it in. It tough. Finishes with a soft touch. When you get in close like that, you have to be able to seal the deal no matter how much traffic you're in fits. That was a nice play. Terry brings it up court, and he's got five assists. Pass to Stackhouse. Dumps it inside. The Mavericks control the loose ball. The Heat were the last ones to get a piece of it before it headed out of bounds. Inbound pass to Terry. Dishes to the middle. Backs in. Eat help, eat help. Shoots from the post. 15 points by the big man out of Germany. Fitz, Dirk Nowitzki has the chance to become the greatest international 
player. His ability to stand behind the three-point mark and knock him down. Tremendous rebounder, runner up and down the court, an improving passer, the defense coming along. Who wouldn't want Dirk Nowitzki on their team? They're playing him tight all over the court. Now they're playing full court man-to-man -man defense. It's a stack house. Nowitzki nails it. Nowitzki. To Haslam. Dumps it to O'Neal. Off balance shot. Bricks it off the back of the rim. The defense set the tone there on the inside and made a nice stop. The inside runner. Snatched by Stackhouse. Swatted away by O'Neal. Jones picked his pocket. The Mavericks touched it last right before it went out of bounds. Jones works it up court. He's shooting 42% from the floor. Swings it to Jones. Pass to O'Neal. Eight feet out. Nowitzki scoops it up. It's one on one. The pass to Stackhouse. Feeds it to the middle. Throws it up. Lays it right in. He throws that one right into the teeth of the defense, Fitz. I don't care how that one looks. That was not an easy layup. To O'Neal. Gives the up fake. Let's it go from the left block. You have to be disciplined on defense because fighting on every pump fake isn't a good idea. Five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. The pass to Stackhouse. Passes to Nowitzki. Pass to Terry. Shoots the three. Hauled in by Jones. Feeds it down low. The denial by Stackhouse. The ball's loose, and that's his third block of the game. Inbound pass to Jones. We've just finished the third quarter, and it's a double-digit game. The score, 35 to 22. Stackhouse throws it in to start the fourth quarter. Bounce pass to Stackhouse. Spins. Stackhouse. Good. The nice thing about a replay is getting to see exactly how the play developed for the score. The pass to Person. Bounces it to Jones. To Wade. Pass to O'Neal. Pump fakes. Shoots with the clock winding down. It falls short. Alters his release. The offensive rebound by Finley. Michael yes. Finley. The name of the game is finishing off the play, Fitz. That wasn't an easy layup by any stretch of the imagination, and he had to earn what he got that time. Nice job of going to the rack and laying it in there. They bring it up court right around the four-minute mark here in the fourth. It's loose. It's stolen by Stackhouse. Throws it down. Once he got inside that time, there was no doubt about it. He was going to throw it down. The Heat advance it, and they're down 41 to 22. 
Passes to the baseline. Tries to post him up. Unloads from nine. Sweet rebound by the seven-year vet out of Germany. That's not the kind of shot you want to work for on offense. There had to be something better than that. Backs down. Shoots from the post. Michael. Swishes it through. The Heat bring it up court. They're shooting 32% from the floor. Passes to Person to end the run. Here's the shot. Watching this one again, I'm even more impressed, Fitz. You have to capitalize on every scoring opportunity, just like he does here. They bring it up court. 2.54 left in regulation. The skip pass to Stackhouse. Pass to Nowitzki. Puts it up. Can't hit it from 12 feet. They can't believe that one keeps going. You'll rarely miss those, but you got to miss some of them. Leitner. The defensive rebound reeled in by Nowitzki. The pass to Stackhouse. Passes to Nowitzki. Pass to Terry. To Dampier. Pass, right wing. From the wing. That's what I like to Lager see. gathers up the rebound, but that's only his first of the game. The pass to Person. The 10-footer draws air. Slides in. Graceful finish. Well, sometimes you just have to force things to create your own offense. You did a nice job of going inside to make something out of nothing. Passes to Terry. Pass left side. Skip pass to Nowitzki. One on one. Drives to the hole. Hits the left of the rim and gets a friendly bounce. You start hitting a few of those mid-range shots, and it can open up your entire game. Wade brings it up court, and he can pick up a assist number five this trip down the floor. Wade is credited the assist. That's his fifth. The Mavericks bring it up court, and they might want to eat some time off the clock here. Skips it to Stackhouse. Pass to Nowitzki. To Terry. Swings it to Dampier. Five on the shot clock. Shoots with the clock winding down. Automatic. Tries to back him in. With the hook shot. No good. And they continue to trail by double figures. Nice move to get down low, but once you're in that close, you got to finish. That's just a blown opportunity. Pass to Nowitzki. Here comes the double team. The ball's loose. The Heat touched it last right before it went out of bounds. The inbound to Terry. The tray. Air balls the three. To Jones, gives the up fake for three. Hits the left rim and out. The Mavericks bring it up court and they're in front, 47 to 29. Six second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. The bounce pass to Stackhouse. He's double teamed. Loose ball. The Mavericks get control. The pass to Nowitzki. There's the buzzer, and that's a shot clock violation. They really got to be much quicker in getting their offense together. They just took absolutely too long starting that play. From downtown. There's the horn. That signifies the end of the game, and that'll do it. The Mavericks defeat the Heat 47-29. Both teams gave it their all, Bill. Well, there's no question, Bob.
The Mavericks played well today. Offensively, they were in attack mode, shooting at a high percentage, and on defense, they really hustled and contested every shot. They really put it together on both ends of the floor and earned this win. Well, thanks. We also don't want to forget our player of the game. Nowitzki was in top form. He finishes with 21 points, 11 rebounds, and he's our ESPN player of the game. For Bill Walton, Michelle Tafoya, I'm Bob Fitzgerald saying so long and thanks for watching ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.